as if you really really love such movies i would say like a hundred percent like guys i'm not even gonna cap i'm not even gonna lie. watch this movie what is good everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome back if you're new to the channel and you don't know who i am my name is Tihu, also known as your girl Tihu. <laughs> in today's video i might be giving you guys a few netflix suggestions if you have netflix but you don't know what to watch you're just bored of the old shows that you keep on watching or the old movies that you keep on watching anyway i hope you guys are going to enjoy this video if you are please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time i post a new video and please don't forget to follow me on instagram and all my other social media platforms at he loves too so without wasting any more further time let's get right into the video I have seven Netflix shows or series that I am going to recommend for you guys. So if you are a person who enjoys shows rather than movies, this part of the video is for you. However, if you want um, a few interesting movies, then please watch the video till the end so you can get even more amazing. And when I say amazing, I mean amazing movie recommendations. Okay, so... The first one we have is 13 Reasons Why. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the show. It is a very interesting show about suicide, bullying. It has a lot of things mixed into one. And personally, I feel like this is a good teenage series because as teenagers, we know um, there's a lot of people who deal with depression, bullying, whether cyberbullying, etc., sexual harassment and whatnot. So it is about a girl who suffered um, from all of these things that I have mentioned, sexual assault, bullying, etc. And she ended up taking her own life in other words committing suicide so the name of the girl is hannah baker so um the way the series starts is that like she recorded a few tapes on why she committed suicide in the first place so for those of you who are interested i would definitely recommend this show to you guys um it has four seasons i've only watched three seasons because of time but honestly if you are interested i definitely recommend this for you next up we have good girls guys good girls is such an amazing show so it is about three moms right so one has i think five kids the other one has two kids and then the other one has one kid so these moms as you can see they look innocent but they're not innocent so they got involved in like um a gang type of vibe and then they started doing money laundering and whatnot so this is about gangs moms pretending to be moms whereas they're not really moms so if you are interested in like crime related shows and this show is definitely for you guys so um i watched three full seasons um, I think I watched it during the lockdown and to be honest guys I was <laughs> guys this show is like the most amazing show ever so if you are interested not even if you're interested guys you better be interested in this show because it's the best show ever period the next TV um, series we have or the Netflix series we have is called never have I ever never have I ever is a literally about a girl an Indian girl rather who is trying to fit in with then the american culture you know um popularity like being liked by boys and whatnot so this is also a very interesting series to watch it was short for me it was super short because the episodes are like less than 30 minutes long and then i think it was like eight episodes and i was just like is that all you know but honestly if you're into comedy if you're into funny series that like give you like you know the vibe you know if you're looking for the vibe the juice you know the spice then this is the series for you the next one we have is the end of the mm world this is a very weird but very interesting series so it is about a boy and a girl 
um, both of them have very weird personalities, very weird characters and whatnot, um, and they decide to basically run away from home. And then um, in their journey of trying to escape their reality, um, they face a lot of challenges and whatnot. So there's a lot of surprises, you know, a lot of surprises, but it is nice to be honest. I honestly really enjoyed it too. But um, if you're not a person who enjoys like watching weird series because i i honestly enjoy watching them. okay i don't enjoy watching them but like this one really like caught my attention guys and i know the cover page is just like what is it about why is she wearing a wedding dress well guys it is a very nice show so this one i would honestly give it a 10 if i had to rate it so be sure to watch it guys the next one we have is on my block guys on my block is literally the most amazing show ever so it, it is about four friends um a girl obviously and three guys so they all live in a, a neighborhood where there is high crime there's gangs and whatnot so one of these friends is involved in one of those gangs because his his brother is involved in those gangs and whatnot so his friends are trying to find ways to get him out of the gang and whatnot so if you are interested okay not even if you're interested guys this show is literally the most amazing and interesting show ever um its background is basically focused on friendships um love etc etc so i would say that this show taught me a lot about friendship and um being there for your friends and whatnot so big ups to the person who actually wrote this series guys and i would say also that the actors are really amazing i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna cap the actors are honestly really really nice the next one we have is blood and water blood and water is a south african show those of you guys who don't know um i'm not gonna spoil it a lot right but um it is about a girl um who has or who had okay rather who has a sister um her sister got lost somewhere somehow you guys i watched it a long time ago but yes the sister got okay guys i'm not gonna spoil it but blood and water is also very nice it focuses also it's it's a teenage drama type of vibe so this is for your um 16 year olds to your 24 if i may say or 25 so yar next thing we have is kings of Joburg or kings of johannesburg kings of Joburg. okay yeah so this series is basically also a south african show right it is also very interesting but it has a lot of crime and a lot of you know violence you know so if you're not really into that i'm not gonna recommend it but personally i liked it but i didn't really finish the season but so far it's not that bad guys it's it's okay man it's calm it's cool it's collected <laughs> so now moving on to the movies the first movie we have is called rattlesnake guys i watched this movie and literally i cried because guys yo, this movie is so nice it takes place literally so the whole, entire movie is basically one day but in that one day guys a lot is happening so i'm not gonna spoil it but a mother has to do something very bad to save her child all right um her child was bitten by a snake let's just leave it there just know that a mother has to save her child guys if you're into thriller and whatnot um it has ghosts involved but they're not like ghosts they're just like normal people but then they're ghosts you know you know guys yes but honestly guys this is like a mind playing movie like yo guys there's a lot happening in this movie but i swear guys if you really really love such movies i would say like a hundred percent like guys i'm not even gonna cap i'm not even gonna lie watch this movie i would rate it a 10 guys like yo it's not that scary but it's like super interesting you know okay the next one we have is the perfection so the perfection is about two girls basically who are brilliant in playing um, a violin and whatnot so these girls basically um i wouldn't say they're competitors 
but like they're in this other school a musical school where they train them to be like famous to be like proper and whatnot so this movie is also like amazeballs guys um I, funny enough i just watched it like now and i was like guys i have to include this movie on my list because it's brilliant guys but honestly i really enjoyed this movie um the ending was literally not like not like not even like not even expected guys like the movie ended in such an unexpected way but it was like super interesting guys like whenever i watch movies i literally fall asleep most of the time like 99.99999 percent of the time but today guys like when i watched this movie i was like you know <laughs> next one we have the kissing booth guys the kissing booth is literally the most amazing movie ever it is also comedy um it also has a lot of romance inside but it is literally super amazing it is about a girl who falls in love with her best friend's brother and yar the rest is history so guys i hope you guys are going to enjoy all these recommendations however if you have any more recommendations that i didn't um include in the video please be sure to comment down below so that um, many people can also see it and you know i can also see them and watch the netflix series but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time i post a new video and please don't forget to follow me on instagram and all my other social media platforms at he loves thank you guys so much